what, what do you think is going to be the your your biggest asset in the court with this team? Biggest asset with this team, probably my playmaking. Just because of how many good players are around me, shot makers, finishers, uh, fast athletes in transition. Just uh, I think I can make plays for my teammates for sure. Take us through the process playing against FIBA teams. Uh, how different is it from the NBA? And were you surprised of the level of competition at that, at that level? Uh, I wouldn't say I was surprised. I mean, that's that's like the best basketball in the world outside the NBA that you're going to get. But um, no, I think the game is shorter, so it's less room for error. Uh, it's more physical, more post-ups. Uh, you know, kind of favors you know bigger guys, more physical guys, which uh, I don't mind at all. So. Uh, I definitely, like I said, I enjoyed the way it was played. I like the style it was played at, and uh, hopefully I get to you know, play more FIBA in the future. You're coming out of the, being the Rookie of the Year. What are your expectations of the Orlando Magics? I see you gain a couple of muscles. Um, wh wh what's, what's next for this team? Uh, I think, you know, just living up to the expectations that we set for ourselves uh, as a team. Uh, you know, it's a lot of familiar faces in here. Um, so we got a lot of the same guys back with a couple new, new fresh faces. So, um, you know, we had some success last year once we were all healthy, and I think, you know, we're just trying to carry that over to this season. Last year, you guys had a good run, um, adding new pieces to the team right now. Joel, uh, AB, um, what is your expectations this year? Putting fear into other teams. You know, like a lot of a lot of players, or a lot of teams around the league, a lot of fans we even, we even tell us like, oh, you got these guys coming up, are y'all ready? You know, our goal is to switch the narrative a little bit. Like, asking those teams, are they ready for us? So like, that's, that's the kind of mentality that, you know, we're trying to build here now. And I feel like with us being healthy, being confident going into the year. I the journey is very important because a lot of people look up to you, young kids that want to make it and it's been really tough to make it. And they see you as a hero. Can you take me through the process, the mental process every year and you finally hear you made it? Oh man, I don't, I don't know if I've made it yet, but I, uh, <laughs> I appreciate you saying that. Um, I think really just being resilient. I know so many times our lives can be like a roller coaster and I think just staying that steady like I do this, I play this game because I love it, not mm -hmm. for any achievement or anything else. So really just staying consistent and resilient. What is the hardest part to really break into the system or to a rotation? Yeah, I mean, just finding that opportunity. I think a lot of things play into that. I think also being undeniable, that's my biggest goal right now, is just be undeniable, not make any little mistakes and just uh, be someone people can rely on. I was winning, going back home in your country. Um, talk to me a little bit what happened now and when you guys came back. Yeah, we definitely enjoyed that that week afterwards. Uh, once we landed in Frankfurt, we uh, there was a big big like ceremony, kind of a lot of fans came out and, and celebrated with us and that was a really special moment for us because normally that doesn't happen for, for basketball back home. So I think it was a big moment for, for German basketball. How do you leverage your experience of what happened in the World Cup to this season in the NBA? Um, I just try to, you know, take everything that I learned uh, this past summer and, uh, you know, make it count this season. But at the end of the day, like we just talked about, it's a completely different game. Um, it's a completely new season, so uh, I got to lock back in.